Hey everybody, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Bone Ho. It's Thursday night. Welcome to my channel. If you have never been here before, hello. It's so nice to meet you. If you have been here before and you came back, thank you so much. I appreciate you. We are going to do some thrifting tonight. We're going to go to two Goodwills. Actually, I'm only taking in one. And then I did stop at a church thrift shop, which I'm going to show you uh, something that I got there. Um, actually, I'm going to show you a little bit of a haul because the one thrift store that I went to last, which was the Goodwill in Mayfield Heights, it was busy. It was late. I was exhausted. <laughs> so I did not take my camera out. I just kind of wanted to stop there, see what they had, and then get home for the day. So let me show you what I found on that day because I did find some things. And I have not been so lucky at that Goodwill for a while. So I was excited to find a few things. Everything else I found was vintage except the very first thing. And that was this set of cork coasters. They are hilarious. They are mistaken lyrics coasters from the 80s. And it says they're made in Austin, Texas. Who made them though? Of course, it's under the price sticker. <laughs> but I'm pulling the price sticker off and it's coming off in one piece. So let me just finish this. That's always super nice when that happens. <laughs> it came right off. I paid $3.09 for this set. It's made by Bright Beam Goods. These are still available on Amazon, and I will share here what they go for. Um, these are brand new. They've never been used, so I will sell them as such on eBay. And I'm not mad at paying $3.09 because I think this is probably at least a $20 um, bill, and that's a good thing. And then, like I said, everything else I found was good vintage. So I found this cute little made in Japan mouse. He's chewed his way through this bell pepper, which I think is adorable. Um, I found some other ones of these that were labeled Napco, so it's possible that he was made by Napco, and I will share with you. He's not worth a lot, but I think he's so cute, and I couldn't pass him up. I paid 99 cents. Another cutie that I couldn't pass up was this Talavera frog. I love how he's painted, especially since he has a bird on his back. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. How coincidental. The Audubon clock with the bird. <laughs> sounds went off exactly when I was showing the bird on his back. How weird is that? If you missed Tuesday's video with that Audubon clock and a bunch of other stuff that I found, I will link that up here and you can go take a look at what I found on Tuesday. But yeah, he's so cool. I don't think he's as big as like a sponge holder. I'm not exactly sure what you would use him for. But he's so cute and he was $2.29. I have found some other ones where they call them sponge holders, but I don't know. I mean, his mouth is not very big. <laughs> he doesn't have any sort of signature on him. Just a little, like I said, Talavera, Mexican pottery, little tourist frog. This guy is great. I wish they had the salt and pepper that went on here. They have a little green salt and pepper with pink or red details, just like this, that goes with this set. This was imported by A Price Imports. It's made in Japan and I paid $2.29 for it. It's really not worth much, but it's in such great condition. I love that you can hang it on the wall. I think that's fantastic. And I'm gonna keep my eye out for the salt and pepper that goes with this. I have priced them on eBay, they're not cheap. <laughs> and it doesn't look like if I buy them, I will add to the value of this that greatly. So I'll probably just kind of hold this back, keep an eye out for a few weeks, and then just go ahead and sell it. I found two nice old kitchen utensils. This is a great old sifter. It's got the little spinning piece. Love the wood handle on it. Yes, again, I think everything I bought was like $2.29. <laughs> it is made by Bromwell's and it has all the information on here. It's a measuring cup, so you can actually put your flour in there, know how much is in there, and then go ahead and sift it. I love the way it looks. I think these look great on display, but this is also a nice usable piece. And we have some old kitchen stuff over in one of our booths. I'm gonna add this to that display. We also have a bunch of rolling pins. My aunt actually has a bunch. I don't have many, but I love that I found this one. Again, $2.29, <laughs> but it has these great red handles. And I think that's awesome. Red on these usually means post-depression. If you find things with blues and greens and more 
depressing colors. <laughs> That's usually depression error. But if you find these with the bright oranges and reds and yellows, um, that is post-depression. So I'm guessing this is probably a 1950s and it's great. It's got a great um, worn look to the wood and I will share here what it will be priced for, but this will also go over to the booth. I have a piece that's gonna go to the booth that I bought a while back. It's a wine rack. And I thought, man, this will hold our um, rolling pins really well. I actually still have it here. I'm gonna take it over to the booth, but here it is. Like I said, it's a wine rack, but look at how great it will work for our rolling pins. And the last thing I picked up at the Mayfield Heights uh, Goodwill was this beautiful embroidered and ribbon um, pillow. And this is an old one. It's in this great kind of rusty color velvet and it's gorgeous. If I had a place to display this, I would keep it. <laughs> I paid 309 for it. And I think it's either gonna go over to the shop or I may put it on eBay. I've seen some on eBay and it looks like they sell pretty well there too. Okay, so that was everything at the Mayfield Heights Goodwill. I also stopped at a very small church thrift shop. It was called Thrifty on Vine. It's on Vine Street in Willowick, Ohio, which is in the same kind of East Lake area. And I did not film in there because I did not have permission. I just kind of went in, walked around. The prices were a bit steep, more retail, but I did find a good deal on a mug rack which we go through these. Every time I put one of these in the booth with some mugs on it, the mug rack sells. <laughs> it sells quicker than the mugs. But this was a cool thing because it was $3.49 with an orange tag. And he told me when I walked in that everything orange was half off, which made this like $1.70 or something like that, which is great. This will go right over to the booth and I will hang some more mugs on it. And I don't know why I will bother because I'm sure it will sell pretty quick. So those were things from the last two places I hit. Now we're going to go backwards in time and I'm going to show you the Goodwill that is also in Eastlake. This is the third place that I stopped and I found some great things here. So I'm going to take you shopping here. Let's go do it. Let's go shopping. I started over here on this green end cap and I love this little jug. Love the airbrush green on it and that blue transfer. Um, didn't like that it had a little chippy on the rim, so I passed on it, but this guy I did not pass on this time. It's Blanco. It's a glass candlestick holder. I passed one of these up that was blue a couple of weeks back at a flea market, and when I saw this one, I said, I'm not going to pass this one up. It was $3.39. If there was a pair of these, it would have been spectacular, but I only got the one, which means maybe I'll hold on to it and see if I can find another one. Um, they are really cool, very quality, heavy, and I will share here how much an individual one sells for and then what a pair of them would sell for because that would be great to have. Checking out the rest of this green end cap and these yellow glasses were cool, but they were modern. Love the color of those bowls down there in that Celadon green. Did not check that out because I saw out of the corner of my eye this guy up here on a separate end cap. And I really checked them out because you saw there on the one side, it looked like there was some damage. I'm going to show it again right here because I really thought maybe there was, yeah, some sort of chunk taken out of there. But you can see that it's completely glazed. So we grabbed it. Do you remember the dresser caddy in Pulp Fiction? It was a kangaroo had little boxing gloves on. <laughs> Bruce Willis was really mad because she was supposed to grab his watch from it. Um, this is the same thing. It has a compartment here for a wallet and then a little area here for maybe your wedding ring, some change. A watch could you know, hang from the tail here or around the neck, but that's what he is. He's a dresser caddy and probably from the 50s or 60s. He's a great piece. I thought there was some damage right here because it has a little bit of what looks like a chunk, but it's painted. So I'm guessing that happened during manufacturing. And yeah, it's fine. He's in good shape. 
and I think he's great. And like I said, I think he'll make a great Father's Day gift, right? Um, might put him in the booth with that as a title, like buy this for your vintage dad. <laughs> he's super neat. I've moved on to my third end cap. It is a blue one. You can see those ribbed glasses there, just like the yellow ones. They were modern. These are beautiful. These are blown glass um, plant waters. Um, I have a few of those um, in my own little collection. They were three or something dollars, maybe $3.69 a piece. And I'm not sure why I didn't give them a second look. I like that little vase, but you could see it had a chip, unfortunately. Ah, I just love blue stuff. <laughs> and green stuff, and orange stuff, and brown stuff. I just love stuff. Some pretty things on that end cap, but I moved on. I'm in the metals now here, and I saw this amazing enamel bowl. And that design there, oh, it does have some chips, but it's signed and we're gonna grab it for sure. I have not yet done the research on this, but it's fantastic. It is an enameled bowl. It's definitely mid-century modern. It's got a great look to it. Look at that design. It's fantastic. The color is fantastic. You know I love this color. And I paid $3.39 for it. It is artist signed. It is underneath this guy that's not coming off of here very well. So I will go ahead and soak this. I will add the artist's name here if I figure it out. And I will let you know where I'm going to put it and what I'm gonna sell it for. All I know is it'll be hard to let go of because <laughs> it's so cool. Absolutely love it. I'm still in the metals looking around. Lots of, you know, muffin pans and things over here. I spotted this egg basket. This is something I would normally grab real quick because these are quick sales for me. However, this guy had some damage. He was crimped and not really working right. So I had to leave him behind. Check out some other things. I usually have really good luck in the metals. On this day, I didn't find too much other than that bowl, and that was a pretty spectacular find. This piece here looked like a mid-century piece. I love the metal with the teak. That was a plate rack on top of there, and those sell for me pretty well too, um, but that one was kind of a lightweight, not really quality one. That piece was cool. I was expecting to see like a Chromex or some sort of label on it, and it was not labeled. Totally missed that cool wire brassy star in there. Didn't see that at all. <laughs> and then up here, I see peeking out this little Uncle Sam, I guess he would be, um, little metal tin piece. And he's pretty cool. For $3.39, I'm going to get him. I'll tell you what, the seasonal stuff over at the shops by the lake, it sells, it sells. And so I had to grab him for our booth for 4th of July. He's a lantern. He's neat because all of the stars would shine the light through and he has a compartment right there for a candle. I don't know who made him. It's not signed or it doesn't have anything on it, but he's well made and he's very cute. And I figure he will uh, do really well over in our shop, 4th of July. I have moved along to the figurines and tchotchke things and trying to see if there's anything cool and vintage here. He was very cool and vintage. He's a hobbyist piece, little spoon rest. Look at that face. Oh, he was cute. Somebody's definitely going to grab him. This little wannabe uh, snow baby was not very well done. This is a gobel. I want to say it's like a club member coin or disc. Those have very little, um, if no value. So I left it. And then I saw this guy and he is so wonky. Super funny. Look at those legs. I don't even know how he's standing upright. <laughs> and he's got this wobble body. I just love him. This little goose on the back. He's like, oh God, I can't look. <laughs> yeah, they wanted like three something for him and he's just resin. 
He went in my cart, but he did not end up coming home with me. I hope somebody else gave him a home. Whoa, look at this guy. I loved this. I have found a mug similar to this, but a koala bear in the past. This one is just so detailed. But it's chipped. Oh, it was such a bummer. Um, yeah, and they also had $7.19 on it, which I was not going to pay. But whoa, what is this? Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I totally grabbed this one. Amazing. Coming home with me. The snout. I love the snout. Oh my gosh. I paid $2.29 for it. Like I said, I haven't done any research yet, so I'll let you know what these sell for. I don't know if I can let this one go. It's so great. <laughs> It'll probably go over into our mugs um, area in our whimsical booth. Definitely should be there if I can let it go. <laughs> I'll probably let it go. Should I? It's just so hilarious though. So I didn't capture this when I was recording. I believe I was having a conversation when I picked this up. It is a Fenton milk glass hobnail with the little, you know, cat there, um, shoe. These aren't worth a lot of money, but blue was half off on this day. Most likely I will sell it here on YouTube in a future sale because I have a lot of glass lovers and it's a cool piece. I also missed capturing these. They had a ton of these, probably eight or 10 of them. They were like a dollar a piece. So I picked up four and we cannot have enough of these in the booth. We constantly like to display trays and plates and things. And these are perfect. One other thing that I found off camera, which is fantastic, were all of these crazy sunglasses. I found, three, four, five, six. They are made by Sun Stashes. Can you see right there? And they are in all of these crazy fun things. So like this is Deadpool. <laughs> Here's Worf from Star Trek. <laughs> the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Rocket Raccoon from Marvel. Oh my gosh, this one's red. <laughs> the Joker from Batman. And then this one's probably my favorite one. It's not a character. Well, it's character, but it is a pirate with a mustache. And then only one side is a sunglass. <laughs> like a patch. Look at how fun that is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it, oh my gosh. It goes with my snood too, right? I feel like a pirate. <laughs> Some of these really need cleaned up. They were probably bought for a party or something and then somebody donated them all, but they were only 99 cents each, which is a fantastic deal. Wait until I show you what they'll sell for on eBay. I got six of them, so I spent $6 and Man, I can make all that back on just one set <laughs> and some. So that was a fantastic, fun find. These will probably go to eBay if I remember correctly. I think I will sell them individually, not as a lot. And if I did decide to sell them over at the booth, I could do that too. I think I can make some good money on them there too. Speaking of Halloween and costume things, this was at the end of the holiday row. This guy was so cute, but he did have some little dings there on the top of his mask. But man, he was tempting. Little candy dish. Don't know who made him, can't find him. Also saw some pretty fun mugs and this is a little basket up here. But nothing in the holiday. And then this, oh my gosh. This was the last thing I was actually in line and changed my mind and came over in this area to find this 1980s oil painting. Oh, $7.19. I'm checking out the canvas. I'm looking for any damage. I'm looking at the frame because the frame itself is worth money. It's in this beautiful hand carved frame and look it's signed and it's well done 
and I'm a happy camper. This was a great way to end this Goodwill shop along. You know I saved the best for last, right? Oh my gosh, I have been so lucky finding original artwork at thrift stores. And this is a great piece. It is an oil painting. It is signed by Brian Rowe. Look at the crazy cool frame it's in. This is all hand carved, which is absolutely gorgeous. It has some information on the back. It just says Small Harbor with the date 11-23-80. Um, and the original price of this was $50. Can you believe that? I paid $7.00 and 19 cents, which is crazy. Look at the colors in this. Oh, I'm kind of in love. <laughs> this is probably staying here. I know I'm hoarding all the art, y'all, but my gosh, when you can get a painting like this for $7 and you know that it's only gonna increase in value, um, it's kind of an investment, right? So I think this will look beautiful. It may even have to go in here. I may have to move my illustration that I look at here because it's got the rusty colors in here that I think will go really nice on this wall. So, ah, I have found other works of his and I will share them, of course. Um, although I'm not letting this go, I will tell you that it does have a little bit of value and I will share that here. And yeah, that was the last thing. And it was so crazy. I was standing in line and there was somebody with quite a bit of stuff in front of me. And there was a guy behind me with just like one shirt. And so I said, hey, go ahead of me. I didn't check out this one corner over here. They don't have a lot of art there, but they have a little bit of furniture. So I went over there and I rounded the corner and I saw it and thought, oh my gosh, yes. There was a reason I got out of line. Get out of line once in a while. You never know what'll happen. <laughs> And that, my friends, concludes this thrifting trip. It was a good day. Started on Tuesday with some nice things and ended with a bang. And I got to hang out with one of my best friends and had a really delicious lunch. So yeah, it was a really good day. I'm glad that you came along with me and did some shopping. If you are still here, by the way, I super appreciate you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks for going shopping with me. If you are still here and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell and uh, turn it to all. Then you'll know when I put up a new uh, video, which happens a couple of times a week. And while you're clicking around down there, hit a like or a dislike. I really don't care. And then do me a favor and comment down below. Tell me what I found on this day that you kind of love or just say hello. And then the best thing you could do, share out the channel, tell a friend that you're watching a friend who does what you like to do, which is shop and do some treasure hunting, and then tell them to come on over and subscribe, join our little Yo So Boho tribe. All right, everybody, I super appreciate you. I will see you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend, take care, bye.